So I've been getting a ton of comments from you guys asking me to build an igloo shaped house in Blockburg. You know what's better than an igloo? An entire house made out of ice. So that's what we're going to be doing. Building an entire ice shaped house in Blocksburg. So watch out Elsa, I'm coming for your career. <laughs> So this is the little exterior that I've made so far. <laughs> I'm kidding. Imagine if this was though. No, it's gonna be on a mountain. So kind of like Elsa's house. This is Elsa's castle if you don't know what it looks like. It's humongous and I was gonna build this in Blocksburg but I don't think I have the mental ability to build this. So you know what? I'm just gonna build an ice house. Everything's gonna be made out of ice. The toilet, the bathtub, the sink, the fridge, you name it, everything's gonna be made out of that. So let's get started. Now, first we have to name our plot and I'm thinking, let's Pretty icy in here. That was so bad. <laughs> you guys are probably sick of my jokes, let's be honest. If you guys aren't subscribed at this point, I'm shocked. Okay, she kind of has like some stairs ascending into the door. So I kind of want to do the same thing. Okay, well, we can start by painting the stairs ice. What even is ice? Okay, we've got ice or ice blocks. Ew, we have a variety today. Ooh, that looks icy. See what I did there? Haha. <laughs> Comedian. Okay, then at the front here, I'm not just gonna leave it like this. I'm also gonna have like a massive lake at the front. That way it kind of looks like the house is floating on top of water. Although I'm just gonna fill this front little bit here. If I fill the entire plot with water, you know how much that is? $1.8 million. Um, no. <laughs> okay, so we're just gonna put a shallow pool kind of, I guess like all here. Oh, this hurts. $24,000. I promise this isn't hurting my bank account right now. Okay, there we go, kind of. Now we just have to fill in these little sections, make it look more realistic. And also while I do this, I wanna show you guys um, a little progress I've made. So I was having a shower this morning and there was a cockroach. No, sorry, there was a daddy long legs and it was like about to fall down the drain. And I'm like, you know what? No, I'm gonna be a good citizen and I'm gonna save this daddy long legs. So I let him crawl on my hand, I know. And then he started like aggressively crawling up my arm and I'm like, <gasps> so I just threw it and it fell down the drain and I died. But um, you know what? The good news is I did try to save it. So personally, I think that's improvement. I don't know. Wow. And if we want to go that extra mile, we can use a hollow mansard roof and go into the basement and kind of create these little mountains around this place. So then it kind of looks like ice cubes. And all you do is paint this like the snow. And then there you go. You have little tiny ice cubes. And you thought I was done? No. Fog machines to make it look misty. See? Look at that. Okay. Oh, I guess we also need a way to actually get into the place. Um, <laughs> kind of forgot about that. It's pretty difficult to put into words how disgusted I am, how depressed I am. It's okay. We're just going to do a tiny little footpath with some landscape lights on the bottom so we don't accidentally fall into the pond when we go inside our house. There we go. <laughs> Someone just goes igloo? No. Close though, but no. Okay, now for the actual castle itself. I don't know whether to call it a castle or not. I kind of want it to be as big as a castle, but we'll see. So I'm thinking like we can have a fancy little front entry. I'm telling you, by the end of this video, Elsa's gonna be shaking in her little castle, wishing she was me. You tripping, bro. You tripping. <laughs> One thing about me is that I suck at floor plans, but that is okay. You know what? I genuinely do want this to look like the inside of Elsa's house. Ugh, look at her. She's like, yeah, I built that, what of it? I need to know what the inside of Elsa's house looks like. Oh, I remember it having a massive staircase. That's kind of what I want to have as well. Okay, I have a little outline of the house so far. It looks very questionable, but I'm going to give you like a rough little layout, okay? So we have entryway here. We've got the bathroom on the left. This can be the living room. We have the kitchen and the dining room. And then on the second floor, we have my bedroom my bathroom but yeah you know what i have high hopes for this house what is he doing he's beginning to believe so now we just have to go ahead and fix up the roof i genuinely do not remember the last time i ever used a pyramid roof before like tell me that doesn't scream castle vibe and yes you guessed it the roof will also be made out of ice and because we're also going with like a little castle vibe at the moment, we're going to be adding two more pyramid glass roofs on these two sections here. Oh, how exquisite, darling. That looks beautiful. So to spice it up, we're going to add these fancy pillars all around like the edge of the castle, kind of to give it more depth because at the moment it doesn't really have much depth to it. It's just like plain walls, kind of boring. I feel like if this was any regular house, it would look boring, but for some reason, because it's made out of ice, it looks so cool. Okay. Oh, and we can even spice up the bottom by adding wood palings and using a different shade of brick. Ew. Okay, now finally, darling, the door. 
And I mean, this is a big ice castle, so I'm assuming there's gonna be massive front doors here. Huh? All right, you know when I said to you guys I would never ever ever use modern windows instead of clear windows? We're not talking about what I'm just doing, okay? At this current moment, I'm too lazy to place clear windows and then change the size of them. So yes, I will be using modern windows, okay? Don't judge. Don't do it. And that actually kind of goes hard. We're going to go around each window and add a plain high arch. That way it gives off more of a castle vibe. Nice. There is 100% an easier way of doing this, but you know, I just love choosing the most difficult way. So the time you've all been waiting for, which is building the inside of this house. Well, I already know that this front bit here is gonna be the entryway, so we can start off with that. I love how last video I was like, you know what, I'm not gonna do the entryway till last. Yeah, I take that back. Also, we're gonna need lots of coats in here. All of our coats can just be made out of ice as well. And for the interior style today, we're gonna kind of go with a fancy Victorian interior with a lots of minimalism, so not much furniture. And also everything's gonna be made out of ice if that wasn't insanely obvious, so. A fancy Victorian house, but everything's made out of ice. Yeah, I got no clue. My disappointment is immeasurable and my day is moving. I don't know guys, do we add a carpet in here? You know what would be kind of cool if we added like snowflakes? There we go, okay. I was gonna use a cloudy gray texture for the light, but it just looks so off in here. And usually I hate bright lighting, but I feel like we need to have bright lighting in a nice house. You know what I mean? Oh, Elsa gets me. Elsa, do you get me, babe? No, 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 no. She gets me. And then we can kind of bring the chandelier like this. We may hit our head on it, but you know, that's fun. And as this is technically the entry area, we need a nice statement piece by the table. Little custom table, if you will. I was actually on TikTok the other day and someone tagged me on the video. If you didn't know, by the way, I always check my TikTok tags. So feel free to tag me and stuff, guys. But yeah, I was checking my TikTok tags and someone actually used my ice table. And I'm like, oh, that is so cool. So we're gonna do another custom table today. And we're gonna copy this statue from outside, but place it on top here and make it very small. Oh, look how cute that is. Okay, so that is our gorgeous entryway, which means to the right here, this is gonna be like my living room. We're gonna have a smooth cube on the bottom and we're kind of gonna create like a little tiny igloo, if you will. And then on top, we can have an ice box, light box. I got ice on the mind. And then on top of this, we'll have our big fat fancy TV. Casually spends $4,000 on a TV, totally fine. But with the ice cube around the TV, I think that's our little TV stand done, if you will. Maybe if we wanna make this stand out more, we can make this out of foil. For some reason, I completely forgot the fact that, that Bloxburg has icicle lights. Look how cool they look. Okay, guys, are you ready for the couch? We're going to be using Victorian sofas because we're going to at least try and do a Victorian theme, even though everything's made out of ice. And it's only fitting that for the coffee table, you guessed it, we use an ice block. Okay, lastly, some paintings. I would add plants, but that isn't really ice. Well, duh. Oh, actually, you know what would look so much better? A waterfall, like behind the TV here. Oh, <gasps> that looks kind of cool. Duh. Say, look at that. Beautiful. Okay, so the next room I want to do, I think is the bathroom, which is going to be in here. This is going to be the funkiest looking bathroom ever. I want to keep it as minimalistic as possible. So just a bathtub here, maybe a waterfall above the bathtub. But for the toilet, we're going to use that build hack that I done for my snowman shaped house. AKA, we're literally going to build a snow globe toilet. And if you're new to my channel and you're like, Alaska, what on earth are you talking about? All I have to say is uh, get used to it. It gets weirder. Go crazy. Ah! Go stupid. Ah! See, look how cute that is. It's literally a snow globe toilet. Like, are you joking? I would hate to sit on that though. Yeah, would not be fun. You know something I need to add more often? These stepping stools to the end of my toilet. You know, I guess we can do a fancy sink today. So, aka two modern bowl sinks. I'm actually curious as to how much this plot's gonna be. I feel like it's gonna be very expensive because the majority of items in here is literally made out of basic shapes. All right, my estimate is 150,000. And if I get it right, then you owe me 10 million Robux. That's the rules. Okay, so bathroom is done, which means the next thing I wanna work on is my office, which is gonna be in here. 
this office has honestly such a good view. It's like two stories as well. So you best believe we are adding a nice big chandelier in my office. I feel like the clear chair would suit my office because it already kind of looks like it's made out of ice. I mean, realistically, I would have a computer in my office, but when you're using a computer, I usually heats up the table underneath. So what is going on outside my window? Can y'all say that? Is that Aman? Look at this man. Aman, what are you doing? Okay, and another thing we need in our office is some meeting chairs. In case we need to conduct a meeting in here. This is where we fire people. Or in my case, this is where we ice people. Shut your bubblegum dumb dumb looking ass. <laughs> Guys, my friend Aman just came on the server and I went to go, hi Aman, and it just came out, hi mama. <laughs> Aman's probably like, who are you calling mama, you freak? What did you say now? Okay, so there are all our books. Don't ask me why we've got so many books. I don't know the answer to that. <laughs> okay, so the last room we have to do downstairs is the kitchen and the dining room. I'm scared to see how this kitchen's gonna look because I've got no clue. I don't know what's my obsession with adding two ovens. I always add two ovens and everyone's like, why do you add so many? And I'm like, I don't know. It just happens. Why is it that if we have a bad like kitchen, if we make it ice, it automatically looks good. Like see this kitchen, ew, ugly, disgusting. Watch when I turn it to ice. <laughs> see, I feel like that looks so much better i don't know what it is but it just does instead of my usual coffee machine that i usually have in my kitchen i'm gonna have a ice cream machine very fitting and you know what even some slushy machines as well okay that's our kitchen now we just need our island bench i guess you know what bigger the island bench the better i say lately i've been obsessed with adding two island benches so one island bench on this corner and then a regular bench on this corner so then this way i can have a dishwasher as well as a sink like, mate, tell me that isn't genius. And then finally, some clear chairs. I'm telling you, why does this actually look good though? I just realized how much snow furniture we have in here. Like for decorations, why don't I use a snow globe? Did y'all see that? Who was that? <laughs> Did you guys see that? Who's cruising around my neighborhood right now? Cruising down the street in my six fall. Okay, so the kitchen and the dining room are complete, which means the last room we have to do is my bedroom. So this is going to be my bedroom. I'm thinking we can have my bed right here. And we're going to make this like an igloo bed. Kind of what we done with the toilet, except it's going to look better and bigger. We're just going to use a simple standard bed for this. Because the reason I'm not having my own bed frame is because, well, I'm custom making it. So we'll need a basic shape on the bottom of the bed. And then get some of these smooth cubes and all i'm gonna do is copy the shape of an igloo and then do the same thing but around the bed as well so lastly just paint the bed place little tiny fancy bedside tables <gasps> with oh a penguin God. lamp because don't penguins like live in igloos i don't know are you dumb i think she's I dumb. Think she's dumb. I think she's and just in case we get cold during the night well we're obviously gonna need a blanket but that's probably not gonna help because the blanket is also gonna be made out of ice yeah whoops oh we have a little polar bear plush at the end and there we go that's our gorgeous little bed and i'm thinking maybe a vanity table here so then with the vanity table done that is our bedroom complete so then next we can do our closet which is going to go in here now for this closet i kind of want like a massive walk-in wardrobe and what sucks about these clothes here is that we can place them down but we can't actually change the texture of all of the clothes but we're just gonna make them blue okay and we're gonna have them all along this wall here and then a mirror and then boom that is our closet now the last room we have in here is my ensuite, but the ensuite's pretty much gonna be exactly the same from like the downstairs bathroom. So I'll quickly finish this and then I can show you guys the end result. Okay, so the snow house is all complete and comes to a total of $245,000. I was way off. I think I said 150,000, so that is pretty expensive. But here is how the outside of the snow house turned out. The only problem though is when you walk in, just make sure you don't fall off the edge because you may drowned to death. Besides that, we've got a nice elegant entrance inside the house. Once we come inside, we are greeted with the beautiful living room. Now, don't get me wrong, I absolutely hate overhead lighting, but you know what? I think somehow I actually pulled it off. So over here, we have the living room where we can have an artificial fireplace because if we had an actual fireplace, the place might actually melt. So yeah, fake fireplace. And then over here, we have my office where I conduct my very, very important business meetings. 
don't know why I made this so big. The only good thing about this is the windows and the chandelier. Everything else just looks ridiculous. And then to the left, we have the bathroom, which personally I think is like one of my favorite rooms. I mean, can we just like appreciate this toilet for a minute? Cause like, wow. My bum is a little bit cold though. So that may be a problem. And if we want a nice little ice bath in the morning, there we go. Gosh, I'm actually getting cold just looking at this. And it's currently like 40 degrees where I live, so. <laughs> That's saying something. Now, the final room back here, we have the ice kitchen and our dining tables. The only thing we can successfully make in this kitchen is our uh, ice cream and slushies. I mean, hey, it's the perfect place to have a nice cold drink. Am I drinking that ice cream? What? Does this ice cream have a straw in it? Since when does ice cream need a straw? What? Anyway, now the final room we have is upstairs and I just realized I forgot to add a railing, so. This is a bit of a safety hazard, but we're gonna ignore that anyway. And come inside right to our beautiful bedroom. Okay, I gotta say the bedroom is my favorite room in this house. Who needs me to build an igloo house when I can just build an igloo bed? I know this is meant to be cold, but oh God, does that not look like the comfiest bed ever? And then we have the closet here, pretty chilly. <laughs> so funny. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed me attempting to build an ice house in Bloxburg. I think this is much cooler than building an igloo house. So hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in the next one. Bye.